Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus, and I'm gonna update you on this storm as well as the atmospheric river because now, with all the snowpack and all the rainfall on top of the snow, it will bring a lot of quick flash flooding to California. Matter of fact, the level went up to moderate level for a couple of days for flash flooding. So you definitely gotta watch out for mudslides over there where the burn scars are, definitely for California. And as it comes across the upper Midwest, the snowfall rates has changed again. And this morning you can see you do have the low pressure over northwestern U.S. Brings a lot of precipitation towards Washington and Oregon. But our main event is going to be this surface low over here as it gets closer and brings that atmospheric river towards California. And you can see this here as you have your surface low forming in northwestern by Washington and Oregon. It's actually this surface low that comes and brings all the atmospheric river towards California. And this is going to happen for Friday while they're getting all this heavy snowpack for the upper Midwest and is bringing floods across the south as well. And this is going to stick around for quite some time as it goes off through the northeast and it did push off further and further. As a lot of you know, you're not going to be getting a heavy snowpack like it once showed before. And this is what National Weather Service has put out to projected precipitation Thursday night into Saturday for California. You can see where you have six to eight inches where your heaviest snowpack is going to be all the way down towards Fresno where y'all going to get y'all going to get rain. You'll get two, three inches of rainfall as well as for the coast. But you also can see over here for the snowfall amounts from the 9th through the 12th that Fresno actually isn't getting the snow. You will be getting the rainfall. But in the higher elevations, you're going to get anywhere from two to three feet plus of more snow coming your way. But on top of all this snow, when this rain comes down, it is going to bring a lot of quick flash flooding. This is a new information that come out as of this morning. So your flood stage at Bear Creek is 23 feet. The water level should rise above monitor stage at 11 a.m. on Friday morning. The water level should peak at 21 feet by 4 a.m. on Saturday. And this is important because at 23 feet, the Beechwood subdivision and the trailer park along the southern end of Bear Creek Drive floods, along with Applegate Park on the south side of Bear Creek Drive. So just be aware you do have a lot of flooding coming your way and it is going to be enhanced over the next few days. It has grown in intensity. And you can see on your vorticity as you go Thursday into Friday, that's where the storm system comes in upper Midwest. But that's where you're getting all that atmospheric river flooding coming in for Friday. Why you get some flash flooding for the south central as well. And that does go off towards the northeast as you go through Saturday. And it's showing less and less snowfall amounts. Now we still have another one that is coming towards the northeast later on right at the end of the run. Guys, this is right at 200 hours away. And if you remember before, this one right here showed the same thing. And you see how much less we're getting now. So I will update you on the possibility of this snowfall as that storm gets closer. It's just literally at the end of the run. And it just would be a scary tale without any truth or facts behind it. Now, National Weather Service has updated to Thursday morning. This is where your snowfall is going to be. You see you have a chance for snow in the light blue. You will likely have snow in the dark blue as it transitions over Friday. So they have you from Wednesday night into Friday. Bands of heavy snow, gusty winds, and hazardous travel conditions are expected at this time. And you see the probability of exceeding the snow warning criteria of 6 inches. So for northern Iowa, southern Minnesota, western Wisconsin, you have a greater chance than 80% of exceeding 6 inches of snow. All of this red, you have a 50 to 80% chance of getting anywhere from 4 to 8 inches, but you have a 50 to 80% chance of exceeding 6 inches of snowfall. And you can see this here from National Weather Service. So late Wednesday night, you're going to get thunderstorms in the south and all of this red. You're getting the rainfall coming down the west coast, but now you have this snowpack starting to add up for Thursday and Friday as this surface low gets closer. Then you have more rainfall still coming down the west coast. But once you go towards Saturday, you can see the surface low is still right offshore, still showing not much snowfall. Then as we get that next system, you can see how National Weather Service has that one 
for pushing offshore as well. That's why I said I'll update you later because so far still not showing no big major snowstorm. And you can see that shot here from the Euro. So as you go through Wednesday, go into Friday, it brings you a heaviest snowpack right here. You can see the big banning for Southern Wisconsin. As you get into heavy rainfall, the atmospheric river for California, and as it goes off coast, you can see it don't bring a lot of snowfall. There's still a good swath that will pass by. We see, like I said yesterday, this surface low is going further and further offshore. Now take this with a grain of salt. I'm sure you will see this today. That's why I'm going to show it to you now. That next system that National Weather Service sees so far as rain, Euro is showing that it could be that proper strong nor'easter. Now this is 180 hours away. This is over seven days away. So take that with a grain of salt. I guarantee the information is going to change from that. GFS has already changed and show that this is going to be offshore as well. And the snowfall is adding up through Friday and as it goes out through the northeast. And then we have another little runner that could add up to some more snowfall. Still that's down the line. You see how fast this is all changing. Now you see how much the precipitation has changed. And if we back up to just the 90 hours to compare, you can see with the 6Z, a lot less snowpack coming down from Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin as the previous run. So it has come down greatly. And when you look at all the ensembles, you can see that that is going to remain that way. It is showing favoring that it will be offshore. That is not going to update in a, any new model showing a heavy snowfall. What you're going to get out of this first system for the Northeast is what is going to be. And that's it. So, so far with the update, according to the Euro, you can see as you go through the first snowstorm that it's going to be hitting Philadelphia, maybe with a couple inches, missing Pittsburgh, but it's going to be northern Pennsylvania, western New York that's going to see this swath of snow that's going to come on by out of this system, as well as for Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, the Dakotas, and Montana. A good bit of snowfall coming anywhere from six to eight inches, but you see how it lessens down and we get a little bit of lake enhancement as well. So, so far it has me from Milwaukee for six inches, but over here from Minnesota, Iowa, anywhere from four to six inches coming in this region. We also see how it's central to Southern Wisconsin that is getting the heaviest of that snowfall as well as Michigan. It is bringing y'all some as well. So it's not gonna be a huge snowstorm. It is gonna be strong, but it is starting to weaken down on the impacts and how much you can get out of it. But California, you're gonna be seeing a lot of snowpack. Anywhere from two to three feet in the higher elevations. You can see how nobody else is getting any of the snow. Y'all gonna be getting the rain as well as Northern California. You're gonna be getting a lot of snowpack as well. And you can see as we go through the 14th and 15th, when we get that cold air anomaly, you can see with the GFS that is showing that system will be offshore as well. So take what you see this morning. If somebody shows, I'm sure you'll see it. Take it with a grain of salt with the Euro is showing seven, eight days away because National Weather Service isn't showing that that's going to be a big snowstorm yet. And the update with GFS is that it's going to be offshore as well. But you can see here from National Weather Service that as you go from Wednesday into Thursday, this is where everything booms up. It's where you start getting that heavy snowpack for the upper Midwest. You get a lot of mixed precipitation, some freezing rain, a lot of storms from the central to the south, as well as your chance for your flash flooding. And for the west coast, you have a lot of heavy snowpack and higher elevations, a lot of mixed precipitation, but you have chances for your flash flooding as well. And you can see with HRRR that that is just going to grow as you go into later tonight, early morning hours, start bringing some banding across Oklahoma into Arkansas, and that is going to go all the way across until tomorrow afternoon and it's going to keep coming across matter of fact your flooding stage has increased so for today you do have a flash flooding risk still and it's for oklahoma city going into northern arkansas this is where your slight risk is then for tomorrow this is going to grow and it's already at the moderate stage guys so you are in a slight risk all the way from oklahoma city all the way to little rock but now fort smith is in the moderate section and this is for wednesday and as you go through Thursday, it's going to stick around for another heavy moderate section as you still have this slight risk going all the way towards the deep south, the upper Mississippi Valley. You have a slight risk all the way from Alabama, Mississippi, western Tennessee, Arkansas getting the worst of it, as well as the moderate risk is also included Little Rock and Oklahoma and northern Texas, all the way down towards Dallas 
with a slight risk and you still have the marginal. But also by this time, you have grown in California on your chance for your flash flooding. So for Thursday, you have a big slight risk now for almost all of California, from central to northern, even to the south. And as you go through Friday, it's going to stay there as well. A big slight risk for flash flooding and you still have the marginal going all the way up to the coast of Oregon. And also Saturday. So it is going to be all the way from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for your chances for flash flooding in California. Please watch out for mudslides on these burn scars because that is where it's going to come from. But National Weather Service has it all the way until tonight, mostly for Oklahoma, but it's going to go all the way into Arkansas and for the deep south, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, western Tennessee, a big area of two plus inches, even in that darker red, that is three plus inches of rainfall coming just within the next three days. And you can see with GFS, they have it all the way in that region, and so does the Euro, a little more sporadic, a little bit heavier for northern Texas over here by Sherman. But it's pretty much the whole region is just going to see one to two plus inches of rainfall coming. And that's why you're getting that flash flooding risk. And the temperatures has updated. It's not as big as before, guys. So you have the moderate risk from the 14th through the 15th in this region and a slight risk from the 14th through the 16th in this region. And you can see as you go from the 14th into the 15th, this is where it's still bringing all them very cold temperatures for the northern tier of the U.S., but it's bringing freezing temperatures to the deep south just a little bit. This is for the 15th. As it moves across for the 16th, it comes down just a little bit more, but not much more. So I told you like a long time ago, this was not going to be a deep south freezing problem. This was going to stay at the northern tier. But at the same time, you can see all the cold temperatures that are coming to the northeast as well. So it is going to stay for the northern tier of the U.S. all the way until the 17th and maybe a little bit longer. But that is the outlook that we have from the 14th all the way to the 15th and maybe even the 16th, just a little bit more. So remember, we are giving away the solar weather station for today. So if you want to be available to get it, you have to be a subscriber. You got to hit the like button and you got to put the comment weatherman in the comments. Thank you all so much for your support on my channel. I appreciate every single one of you. I am still going to try and keep this going all year along. And that is it. Just a nice quick update. Let you know what was going on with this system. There's no reason to hold you for a long time. It's a pretty quick and easy explanation of what's going on with this system. I will update you on that next system coming out the Northeast. It's looking less and less. Just be aware it is showing with the Euro at the end of the run that it's doing something. So uh, take that with a grain of salt. It's too far away to even show that with confidence, guys. God bless all of you. May you have a very blessed Tuesday out there and a real quick reading to help you get on with your day. Psalm 123. Unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so are our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. Amen. Hope you all have a very wonderful day out there. If you're in California, please be safe. Watch out for the mudslides that could come with all this rainfall. All that heavy snowfall and all that rain just going right on top of it, it will start flooding really fast. So please be aware of that, especially if you're in the mountains. Thank you so much for your time. God bless every single one of you and your families. And remember, above all things, all glory goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he give us peace in our life. May he forgive us for the sins that we go through. And may he always correct us, never giving up on us. As his word says, he will finish what he starts in us. Amen. That is such a beautiful thing. All glory goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he always give you peace in your life. May Jesus always bless you and direct you in his name, Yeshua. God bless you all. Amen.
Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great day, everybody.